at 6 o'clock. New developments on a story we told you about on WKRG.com. Three school officials have been arrested in the case of alleged abuse of a young boy with autism. News 5's Catrice Nolan went to the school for answers and talked to the boy's father about the situation. Three people have now been arrested after Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office opened an investigation after hearing reports of abuse at Kenwood Elementary School. Take a look. Three people have been arrested after investigators say they either abused or knew of abuse against a six-year-old boy with nonverbal autism. The alleged incidents happening at Kenwood Elementary School back in 2015. For the father of six-year-old Noah, Noah, hearing about the allegations after one year placed emotional damage on him as a father. It made me cry to think that he had to endure that, and I didn't know it. I couldn't do nothing about it. But the details are disturbing. Said that she'd use a little spray bottle, spray vinegar in his face and his hands, uh, throw him to the ground, put him in a bas closed basket with a pillow on top, put her, his foot, her foot on top. All happening in his special needs classroom of about 10 kids, but it didn't stop there. Take a wand with fabric on the end with liquid and shove it in his mouth, telling him to talk. The investigation started in May of this year by the Okaloosa Sheriff's Office after a complaint from Noah's father, Eddie Perillo. 59-year-old Marilyn Stillens is named as the teacher in the classroom. The former principal, Angela Vaughn, and school district employee, 70-year-old Arden Farley, faced charges of failure to report suspected child abuse. For now, Perillo is happy his son doesn't seem to be affected by the abuse and is currently thriving at school in his new classroom. Give me kiss and I'll stop. Give me kiss and I'll stop. But his concern over not knowing what happened to his son still bothers him. Still now he can't come home and say someone's hurting me and express it like that, which made it worse for me that I'm sending my baby to school and he can't and he's getting hurt at school by the teacher. Reporting in Pensacola, Give a hug. Patrice Nolan at News 5. We reached out to the Okaloosa School District for a comment on the case. They did not return our calls. As for Stillen, she faces four counts of child abuse.